<clears throat> so for those of you going boost, uh, we've already done a video on how to do E85, uh, and we've already d technically done a video on how to rescale certain parameters of your vehicle. Uh, so this one is going to be based on Hemi's. Um, this specific vehicle, I did some scaling on for uh, a friend of mine that just put a Torque Storm supercharger on his vehicle, uh, which is a centrifugal supercharger. Now, one of the things that you need to do is you need to make sure that your tables are set up in order to handle the boost. So on this specific vehicle, which is a non-VVT Hemi, it runs off of manifold absolute pressure. Okay, as pressure goes up, typically you're going to have your timing is going to go slightly down. Now, at 105 kPa, these are the numbers. Now, if you were to go over 105 kPa, and let's say this was your wide open throttle table, uh, it would travel, keep these numbers going on forever. Now, on certain vehicles, that might be fine. Other vehicles, that's a good way to blow your vehicle up. Now, this vehicle's already been modified for the timing. So, this table would have only went to 100 or 105 kPa as well. So, we put it to 230 kPa. And you'll notice that on this specific tune, these numbers are actually kind of close to the numbers that were on the other table. So... Now, these are base numbers. These are the numbers we use uh, in order to start tuning. So, 105 kPa. This one's probably, honestly, the same. 105 kPa. It's reasonably close to the same. Now, this is your wide-open throttle table. So, when the vehicle enters wide-open throttle mode, uh, which is your open loop, uh, it should switch to this table after... 40 kPa, and on this one, it'll allow it to go all the way to 230, meaning you can actually fine-tune it a lot more. Like I said, this is a base, and this is used specifically um, to start tuning when you... Um, here, hold on, I'm getting freaking hot. So this is used when you want to start tuning for uh, boost. Now, one of the things that you're going to have to keep in mind is that some of these numbers in this table should match some of the numbers in this table. Otherwise, uh, large variations could cause problems. So a lot of times what I end up doing is I will take, sorry, a radio came on in my truck here. I will take, let's say, 50 to 105 kPa, copy it, come here, and paste 50 to 105 here if it's the same. And obviously, since it's wide open throttle, I pull a little bit of timing down, things like that. Um, let's see if you can even see my 50 here. So, you can see the difference here. It should be about 3 degrees, give or take. Um, when you modify the table from the original table um, to add more scalability here you need to change the data here don't just leave it if you leave the data here alone you could end up with something like this where this data is down here which you're going to blow your motor if you have that kind of data um, so make sure that you scale that so this isn't for someone that's new this information should be for somebody who's a little bit more advanced at what they're doing um, and actually uh, another friend of mine that is in Australia who watches pretty much every video we post, uh, these numbers actually came from his car. He's actually the one that did the original scaling um, on the original file that I broke apart and modified to create my um, template for boost for non-VVT Hemi vehicles. Uh, so he did a pretty decent job at it, especially for not having any videos to go off of, just going out on a limb and and creating um, what he needed for his specific vehicle. So I would say a big thanks to Warren on that because I this is all stuff that I can do, uh, but. I was able to take his file, help him out with his file, and then take certain parts of his file 
and create a, a template that I use at my shop uh, for similar vehicles um, and which we're also using I actually applied that template to this specific vehicle um, and we're actually using it to create this video now let me close these out here I'm gonna do a compare on here so I can see what was all changed again okay Base spark really isn't something that you have to pay attention to. You might have to play with it a little bit uh, if you're having issues with your idle. Um, barometric pressure. Not really sure what's going on there. Um, it looks like on the last file that this person had, this was zeroed out. I don't. I don't zero that out unless I'm hunting for something. So it's a good thing we got rid of that. Um, we are in this specific table. We're actually pulling timing uh, based on certain KPA. Now, this is just across the board. This is so that down low it pulls timing um, when it's not needed. And uh, if they were to be, let's say, 4,000 feet above sea level, which is typically in this area here and they drove all the way down to Houston and it would be way down here so and actually now that I think about it no, that's, that's the same on that car so personally we're gonna edit this column here okay because I don't like the way this is set up so rows edit Okay, this here should be 10 kPa. And we don't want it to pull any timing up top at all to the 105 mark, so we're going to just do this here. Actually, we do it the whole way. It's a little bit better. So, typically, 4,000 feet above sea level is going to be right in this area here. So, pull one degree of timing. Two degrees of timing here, three degrees of timing here. Uh, this is a safe, an added safety net. Um, now, I use this for dialing in the car. So we leave this on here, we dial in the car, and then what we can do is after we have the car dialed in and we like where the car is, we can start removing some of this timing and see if any type of KR comes up. Uh, or if there's a power difference. If you don't see a gain in power and you don't see KR, leave this alone. But if you don't see KR, but the car seems to have gained more power on the dyno or it feels better down low, then keep going and work with it from there. Um, I think that's about it. So your part throttle table can be left alone. Uh, you don't need any more KPA part throttle. There's no reason why you should be part throttle and over 105 KPA on a vehicle. Okay, so this is uh, for non-VVT Hemis. Um, I will make another video for VVT Hemis, pretty much explaining the similar thing, but instead of manifold, um, instead of manifold absolute pressure, uh, it's going to go off of air charge.